Hello YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of the Deluxe Todd Dustbinner from Common Rider O's. A little late, I know, and I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and go over the packaging to start. Um, cool looking O's packaging as usual. We got Taj Outdoor over here being so buried you can't even handle it. On the back it's kind of this like silver gray design. It looks almost like a cell metal of his crest on the back. It looks cool. See the two medals it comes with, Kujaku and Condor, it says Kamen Rider O's, logo down here. Shows that it comes with the exact same Gombride card the Birth Buster and Driver came with, so I'm not going to bother going over it because I already have. And my Gom I mean, Gombride, uh, my DK Driver's broken. On the top here, cool picture of Taja Door, the two medals, Kujaku and Condor. No, I'm sorry Japan, you don't know how to spell English. I'm sorry, you're just retarded. Riri, you're retarded, I swear it. Um, so find the Skiryu in your head. Anyway. So here's a picture of uh, Tajador again doing a scan and shows that it can do the scan and such. And then him looking cool again and showing that you can use these metals in the driver to create Tajador sounds. On the back shows that you can put all the other metals in, what you can do with it, looking cool, scanning. And that you can put the um, things in the driver, the metals in the driver. Uh, Pimping out its ass, I guess, card ass. On the bottom, cool picture of Taja Dorgan getting ready to shoot you. And the spinner again. So I'm going to now move this out of the way because it's a, kind of a big box. And I'm going to move this closer and we will bring the actual spinner in. So here is the spiner, according to them. And then we got the two medals right here, which I'm actually going to go over first because I don't want to forget it. So here we have Kujaku Metal. Um, it is a peacock, obviously, and it's done in an orange color. You can see the um, chip through there as usual, and it, but it still looks cool. It's like this flaming peacock, which sounds really gay. Uh, gold rim, because it's deluxe, and then two lines on the back, because it's chest. Um, and the Condor Metal, which looks kind of almost reddish pink. It looks like a reverse taco, but it's still cool. Mine's a little scratched. I don't know why. Um, gold rim once again, and then three lines, because it's a leg metal. So, I already got my O's driver hooked up and ready. I just gotta put the metals in. And we will do the song and scanning charge. So, scanner, I've already. Oh, it's so bird, I can't even handle it. Now, just scanning charge quick. So cool scanning charge and such. Okay, and I'll put the metals out because I'm gonna pseudo need them later. Okay, so now let's go over the what the spinner does if you don't don't if you don't have this. Let's go over what the spinner does if you don't have one of these. Okay, so what it does first of all is it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty decent size and it looks cool all around. As you can see, it's got Tajador's crest here, which is like a phoenix. Gold rim to look like a giant metal and pullback and stuff, and it just looks cool on display, and I appreciate it. Um, you get the handle down here with something to protect your knuckles, I don't know. Um, the strap here, it fits my wrist because my wrists are tiny. Um, and yeah, and then there's a button here for triggering stuff. So let's go over the noises and turn it on. Confirmation noise. So the first noise is by pressing this you just get a generic shooting noise. Okay, and that's all. And then you pull this back, press this. Ideally, you would have metals in there, and if you hold it, or when you pull it back, stop. And if you pull it back, as long as you hold it, it'll go. When you let go, it stops. God, stop, it's annoying. Okay, and then after you do the Giga Scan and you push the button, it does cool bird shooting noises. So that is literally all it does if you do not have an O scanner. So if you do have an O-Scanner, you can do Coolio Gigascan. So uh, let's do that. Um, let me go over a few things quickly before we start that. I'm sorry that there is procedure to this. But so let's open this up. So you push these two buttons here to open this up. Okay, I didn't explain it, which I didn't. So there's seven slots here for seven metals, but the O-Scanner only reads six. Now why is there seven? Okay, thanks to Shukun Shinobo for mentioning this just in general when we talk, so I know how to say it. Um, uh, it only, the O scanner only reads six metals, and once you scan a seventh metal, it starts resetting them. And so the reason for the seven metals is so that you get that ding 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 noise on the, sh like on the show, and it keeps going. So, but it's only going to read six of the metals and say their names. So that's what's going to happen. So also, um, 
When you do the Giga Scan, it'll obviously say a different name for each metal you scan, but the other Giga Scan part is the same. But just to show you, I'm going to do one with uh, deluxe cores, some cell metals, and then some brighter metals. So let's go ahead and get started, and bear with me if I have any mistakes. So we have Kajaku and Condor already queued up, and then some deluxe metals that I just pulled off. Oh, God, one of them just died. Uh, that I just pulled off my little metal shelf. We got Kuragata, Bata, Tora, Sai, and Zo, because they were there. So now I'll close it up, pull this back. Now I'm going to have to do this very carefully because I messed it up. I already did one take of this. So hold this down. I'm going to press this over the button. And let's hold this down and it'll persist to scan them. And then scan through for Giga Scan. Pray for me. That last scan was Giga Scan, if you couldn't tell. Uh, it sounds a little funny, at least to me. So that's cool. It's really effectful and stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm not going to do it again because, at least with these, because it's kind of annoying that the spinner and the driver are trying to talk over each other or scream over each other. But now, just because I'm going to show you, we've got cell metals, Taka cell, Kujaku cell, Kuagata cell, Tor cell, uh, Ebi cell, Sasori and Connie cell. I think those are all candy toys too, just because that was what was there. So let's do it again, pull this back. And scanning the time. So there you go. And then just for the lols, we'll pull out. Um, I'll just organize these guys later. Do some rider medals. Oh, you can just stay on the floor because I don't need you anymore. That's what she said. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore in this review. Um, okay, so rider medals. We've got Agito, Ryuki, Fies, Hiviki, Kabuto, Deno, and Kiva because they were on the top of the pile. Pull it back again and get ready. And that's all she wrote, folks. That's really all it does, um, with the scanner and all. So final verdict is, it's nothing really that special. Um, it's it's kind of fun for a little bit to mix and match the metals and the cell metals and the rider metals and do Giga Scan and just fun to watch it spin and scan and that's fun. But it's really not that worth it in my opinion, unless you're like a huge O's fan or a Taj Ador fan and you really want the spinner, then I would really just recommend going tracking down the Gashapon versions of these because it's really not all that worth it, and if you don't have an O's driver, or you're not planning on getting an O's driver, then it's really not worth it, because it does next to nothing without it. But so, I really only recommend it if you are a crazy completist like me, or <clears throat> you just really want everything involved with Taj Ador O's. But otherwise, it's, I think it's a very easy pass. It makes a nice display piece, and the Giga Scan's fun for a while, but it's, it's a very easy pass, just for the Gashapon versions. Or even if you don't have that high standards, the candy toy ones, I guess. But so yeah, this is one of the first O's items that I can really say I would probably solidly pass on if I wasn't a hardcore collector. So that's about it for this thing. Um, and Check out a little pros and cons written review at the bottom and at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, go to writersrangersrambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible, as well as the crazy, crazy podcast. So until next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.